Hi, I'm Rebecca O'Connor. I'm an associate professor in the School of Nursing at the University of Washington. The thing that attracted me to the fellowship was one, its focus on innovation, uh, and two, more specifically, the focus on leadership broadly in terms of bettering nursing as a whole, um, rather than the traditional leadership paths in academia, which is um, taking on administration roles. And I see leadership in terms of leading change, and there's a lot of different ways to do that. What do you think so far about the group and what lies ahead in the next three years for you? It's been really inspiring. Uh, the program leadership, the staff, and the fellows have all been incredibly supportive of each other um, during this particularly difficult moment in time where we're dealing with a pandemic and we're dealing with renewed and urgent calls for racial justice after the murders of Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and others. Um, and so it's been really um, inspiring to have crucial conversations with this group about these challenges and thinking about how we as a collective can come up with some ways to address these problems at the same time that we're starting our leadership fellowship and uh, starting our own projects to innovatively um, address challenges in health in general. What lens do you bring to the nursing profession and to this group that you hope furthers uh, nursing science research? I'm really passionate about promoting health equity where all individuals and communities have an opportunity to achieve their optimum health. And there's a lot of barriers to health equity, uh, including the social determinants of health. So um, do people have access to health care, to quality education and jobs, um, to safe drinking water, to safe places to live and exercise? Um, systemic racism is another barrier, as is implicit bias. And so my particular interest is addressing implicit bias in healthcare providers. We all come to our professions um, with a desire to make the world a better place and help others. Uh, but we're also human and we do bring our own implicit biases with us. And so I want to be able to address implicit bias as a central feature in providing health care and working towards health equity. So your project looks at implicit bias. Describe for me how you hope to move that conversation forward and what you hope to tackle um, during the fellowship. So my project is uh, entitled the Implicit Bias Teaching Protocol, or iBias. And it's looking to transform clinical nursing education to make implicit bias central in that. Um, it's a multifaceted approach. It starts with at the beginning of our undergraduate and graduate programs and we'll develop virtual reality simulations to allow students to explore the potential impact of their implicit biases in a safe environment. And that will be followed by a training about what implicit bias is and how it can potentially act as a barrier to health equity. And then we will test integrating conversations on implicit bias into pre-briefs and debriefs, allowing students to practice skills to mitigate the potential impacts of implicit bias and have clinical instructors assess students on these skills uh, in every clinical encounter they have throughout their education. What's your long-term hope for the impact of this work? I hope that eventually our future RNs and DNPs will integrate this into the care that they provide and make it a consideration in every patient encounter, just like they make safety a consideration in every patient encounter. What new skills uh, do you think you will be equipped with throughout this curriculum that will help you get your work to the point where you want it to be? The need for leadership in change um, is paramount and any change is complicated. Um, people have a hard time thinking about or conceptualizing things differently and 
when we're talking about something like implicit bias, it's even that more complicated because we're asking people to reflect on their own, how their own beliefs and how their actions can unintentionally harm patients that they're caring for, despite their best intentions. And so the need for leadership in a way that is authentic and can bring people along in this um, complex arena is, is something that I'm really interested in learning about. If we can successfully um, make this shift in thinking, we have the potential to actually make some differences in health disparities.